all the critics that have attacked the bailout, and I can tell you from somebody who, unfortunately, at the time was also the vice chairman of a relatively large, large bank in my spare time, um, <laughs> that the, the financial system was absolutely incapable of digesting anything, never mind a bankruptcy of this caliber. So you can get it out of your head. If you thought that I could sell Jeep to anybody, you couldn't have sold it for 50 cents. The value of Jeep as a brand today is a multiple of the 50 cents. Let's not debate how much of what well, multiple that is, but it's a much different number. At that time, the digestive system of not just the US system, but international financial structure could not digest um, a bankruptcy, not even, not even Chrysler, certainly not GMs. Um, and there are people, and I think a gentleman here from from Michigan made reference to the fact that the devastating impact on the supplier base would have been so large that it would have actually frozen Ford in its, in its, in its tracks. It could have not produced the car. The failure of GM and the failure of Chrysler would have sent the supplier base into absolute convulsions. And if that happened, they would have stopped producing, making parts for Ford. So you would have had a chain effect that would have just destroyed the US automotive business completely. So don't look for alternative solutions. There were none. And I can tell you that the deal that was put together by Steve and his team was an incredibly tough deal. It was a, a private equity deal that, as I said, had a very short leash. If we had sneezed the wrong way and we're not delivered, they would have taken it back into GM because GM had all the cash, right? They could have just absorbed Chrysler and done plan B, which was their plan B at all times, this to put these two companies together. And I think the only reason, you know, I don't want to get involved in the entrails of the discussions that happened inside Treasury. I know for a fact that Harry was against it. And Steve was mildly in favor. I think Larry was supporting it at the time. Um, but I think the UAW and the fact that they insisted on the continued existence of Chrysler as a separate entity went a long way. I think they were, they were, they were helpful. And I think in hindsight, it was why, go, go back to Larry, Larry Summers' yardstick, right? Five years later, was the right thing to do, and the answer is yes. So, the best deal they could have done at the time. <laughs>